what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Ahmaud Arbery's murder investigation seems to yield a new discovery every day. According to CNN, one of the men arrested and charged with Ahmaud's murder had a confrontation with an unidentified black man matching Ahmaud's description just days before the fatal confrontation. It's been reported that Ahmaud was seen on security video walking around a house under construction on the day that he was murdered. He did not steal anything, nor did he deface the property. Today we learn on February 11, about two weeks before Ahmad's February 23rd murder, that a homeowner named Larry English was contacted by one of the men arrested for Ahmad's intentional death. He was contacted by another homeowner who said that Travis McMichael had chased off a suspicious person, someone who he had suspected of burglary. Now, Travis McMichael also contacted 911 and told them of this incident. Several weeks later, he calls again at 911 and he tells them of, of, of a theft of a vehicle that was unlocked. A gun was stolen. Whose gun was it? Whose truck was it? Ding, ding, ding. Travis McMichael. He told the 911 operator on the day that he killed Ahmad that there had been a string of burglaries in the neighborhood. Well, within the past seven weeks of the murder, there was only one and it was made by him. The call was made by him. He was the victim. Does this sound like a setup to y'all? Sound like to me he was setting it up. Contacting his neighbor saying, I've seen this mystery guy. Nobody else has seen him, but he's seen him and he's ran him off. Then he talks to the 911 operator said there's been a string of burglaries in our neighborhood. He lied. There had only been one reported incident within the past seven weeks, within seven weeks that he had killed Ahmad. And it was him who made the report. And then again, you have a situation where his daddy, Gregory, investigated Ahmad in the past for a theft charge. Family, y'all don't, y'all think all of this is just coincidence? Hell no. Hell no. There's evidence being suppressed. I am sure of that. This is not a black and white situation, no pun intended. There is more to this story. I believe they targeted that man. I believe they had a they had a, a relationship with him. To some extent, I believe that they knew exactly who this dude was, who exactly who they was killing. They had a bone to pick. And they picked it. Being the country bumpkins they are, they also licked it. The sad part here is, even with video evidence in America, justice is fleeting. I hope like hell this dude's family gets justice. I hope the community gets justice. And I hope that these clowns with their racist asses rot in hell Travis McMichael, Gregory McMichael. Your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What, what, what the talking about? Yeah.
Yeah.